Welcome to your art class. My name is Connie Chapman and this is fourth quarter, series B, week 47. Your art class designs a shield. Your art class consists of six series. Series A, B, C, D, E, and F. Each series has four quarters, and each quarter has 13 lessons. So this gives you an idea of series B, fourth quarter. There are 113 pages, 39 printable color examples, and 61 printable black and white drawings. And this is lesson 47, your art class designs a shield. Here in the closed pin classroom, I use two basic shapes for the shield, outside shapes, because we were concentrating on what was on the inside. The aspect of art for this lesson is artistic license. I did a little research and looked up some of the traditional symbols that are used on a coat of arms but you as an artist can come up with your own list of symbols and try to stick to what you have decided on. This pillow so reminds me of a shield. I just had to include it. Anyway, we began with the basic shapes. We added some of the symbols across. These different lines mean different things. Then we added other symbols and colored it in. So which shield do you think expresses loyalty above all, patience through grief, Dignity from strength of family. Keep hope alive through nature's water. Is it shield A, B, C, D, E, or F? The answer is E, the coat of arms. Blue stands for loyalty. The ermine background, which is the gold with the black dots, means dignity and strength. The line going across, the, the band going across, means defense or protection and the black is grief. The flower represents hope and joy, and red is strength again. The oak tree symbolizes family strength, and the wavy line at the bottom uh, is a symbol of water, and green is hope. The arrow is Ability to hit the target or being ready. And Lucy's coat of arms is set on an orange background, which was her ambition. Thank you for visiting the Clothespin Classroom. You can find your art class lessons on Facebook. This is Connie Chapman. Until the next time.